Today, we're going to build in a panic, a full metal panic. And if you want to win some money to a few hobby shops, stick around until the end of this video to find out how. So really bad jokes aside, and let's flip this the right way, today we are going to be building and talking about the Arbalast with the, what is this, the X2 booster, or the XL-2 booster from Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory. These kits haven't been seen in a while, so I thought this might be really fun to do just so people can know what these kits are about, and yeah, let's get this unboxed and start talking about it. <laughs> So here we have it, the Arbalast version 4 with the XL-2 booster. So one of the first things to notice about this box is that this actually says it is a 1 to 60 scale model kit. So for my Gundam people that are out there, we all know that 1 to 60 technically is a perfect grade, but for this one, the size of a 1 to 60 scale uh, robot in the full metal panic universe is the same size as a 1 to 144 model kit. So a lot of people whenever they saw the full metal panic kits I think they thought that they were going to be a lot bigger and I know a lot of people were disappointed with that so let's just go in just state that this is not a 1 to 160 scale the same scale as a Gundam perfect grade but it is a different scale based off the full metal, metal panic kits. But with that said this is everything that comes around the box we have this really really cool model model kit pretty detailed backpack as well too standard little uh you know design that we see there as well too and then right here on the back we see this is the actual series cover for the invisible victory and we just see the front and back for both sides of this and because this is the bandai spirit box we don't get a price on this and that kind of sucks but anyway let's open this up and see all the pieces inside that we have here and there are quite a few just because we have the extra xl booster but first up we have this little rb2 runner and then again these parts are super detailed which is really nice so it's awesome to see how cool this thing is going to look even before we paint or anything like that so again every bit of this model kit is detailed so if you're looking for something that you can just like pop together don't have to do too much customization to you know granted these kits nowadays are pretty expensive but if you were to find one at a good cost these are really fun to do so again we're just going through all the pieces right now and then yep these two are the same one of the really cool things i'm gonna kind of just rush through this now just because there's a lot of pieces in this box but uh one of the really cool things about this model kit as well too is that we actually get a stand for it so this thing is going to be obviously super back heavy so getting a stand with that especially one of the newer stands too is really cool and unfortunately that probably makes us even more expensive on like a secondary market as well too but finally we've got a couple more pieces in here so stick with me guys before we start up this uh, speed build and these are the last few pieces I forgot that there were poly caps in this as well too which sucks but we get one little sticker sheet which we are definitely not going to use which is useless and then here's everything inside the Arbalest manual I think this model kit should only take about like two or three hours to do it doesn't seem like too a too complicated of a model kit so it should be pretty fun pretty easy to do so let's get into the next section where we're gonna do a fun little speed build <laughs>
All right, so here it is, the Arbalist with the XL2 booster. And I really like this kit. This thing was a lot of fun to build. There is a lot that comes on this kit as well, too. And we'll start off with the booster pack, actually, just because it's a little bit interesting to take off. And it just kind of connects to the back of the Arbalist, as we see right there. The only issue is that this thing kind of pops off each time. But again, it's easy to put this back on. And that back part that I just removed, it, there is a part swapping piece to this as well too. But I'm not a big fan of part swaps. But you know what? Actually, let's start with this. So the Arbalest itself. So this is a color swap for it. If you know Full Metal Panic and the Arbalest, it typically comes in like a white, yellow, and like a dark blue. But for this one, they went with a much more military feel for it. The model kit itself doesn't have many runners, but the end result of this Arbalest also looks absolutely amazing. And it looks a lot more complex than it is. So if we zoom in right here real quick, we can see this kit has some really good detail for the size that it is. So I love the shoulder little notches on it the head looks great too and there's a lot of color separation within this kit as well so it's really nice to get that from just a simple high grade and again this is a high grade model kit this is it does say 1 to 60 on the box but when we talk about 1 to 60 with the full metal panic kits we're just simply talking about the size of it not the same scale as a gunpla model kit but with this kit what we get is one we have these two little extra hands that we get inside the model kit box we have this right here which is a nice little weapon on the back we have another little weapon here too i don't know what youtube's policies are so i'm not going to say what these weapons are but even with this this is really cool that piece comes out like so and even there's a little pump action going on here so you can move that in and out and then just fold it back up and it slides right back into here on the side, we have another one that connects to the side skirt as well, too. I like the detail in this one, and that just fell. So open that up, and then we've got one of these. And again, for me, I'm a big painter, so this is definitely going to get some love and get some paint onto it, just because I feel like there's a lot of detail that we can get into this model kit to make it look even better. But now that we're done with that, let's check out the XL Booster. Uh, so again, I love the detail on this model kit. Everything looks really good. There's not much articulation other than, you know, just moving these up and down right here to attach onto the actual model kit. But I, I really just like the booster itself. Again, I, the one thing I would have to complain about is just that it's one solid color rather than giving us different colors, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers when it comes to a kit like this. And it's a super simple uh, way that we can put this onto the model kit as well too. So like we saw before, it attaches into here like so, and then these two come down, and it is essentially now just attached to this model kit. And let me just put this back real quick. And yeah, so that's essentially everything on the Arbalest. The articulation's really fun for it. The only thing that I would have to say is like a complaint on this kit, two of them. One, super expensive model kit nowadays just because they have not reprinted these for whatever reason. But um, also like the waist unit is a little bit weird. I think it's like very... Uh, very thin and you can feel over time that this is going to get very loose especially with the backpack being the way it is and as a side note here there's this piece is just an attachment piece that goes into the uh into the arbalest for a for an action base so so yeah but all in all really enjoyed this kit and yeah so if you can find one highly suggest picking one up All right, people, so there we have it, the Arbalast XL2 booster from Full Metal Panic. And again, like I said, this is a really fun kit to build. They're all very unique for what they are, but the only problem with this kit, again, is that you're going to have a very hard time finding it just because it hasn't been reprinted by Bandai in a very long time. But if you got some cash to spend and you don't mind overpaying for a, uh, for a model kit, please go right ahead and buy it. But again, people, if you're looking to win some awesome prizes, please go leave a comment 
comment down below. Let me know if you guys have ever built any Full Metal Panic kits and what did you think about them as well too. But like I said, go join our Project New Type Discord channel where we are doing our monthly giveaway this month as well so you can win some prizes over at Gundam Planet and Robot Kai. And also don't forget to go and support our Patreon as well too. We've got a few different tiers. All the support that we get on Patreon, we also use all that money to just continue these awesome videos and to keep doing some really cool stuff within the community as well too and also don't forget to check out our event bright because we do a lot of really cool gundam events here in new york city and we're going to start expanding out into the country and hopefully the world as well too at some point but again check out our event bright we're doing a lot of amazing stuff and with that said people don't forget keep building peace